Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back as we tackle some of the more difficult questions that we may have to face in our lives as adolescent Muslims. Well, I'm not an adolescent anymore, but those of you who are listening, many of you are. The next question is, why would Allah create me as a homosexual if I can't act upon this desire? May Allah make it easy for any and all of you who are going through this difficulty and this test. And may Allah make it easy if any of, and all of you are going through any other type of test. All of us have our own difficulties and battles that we face. These battles, I know it's hard to accept, but in this world, they are there for the means of our growing closer to Allah. If we are patient and we persevere through them, Allah will grant us a great reward in the hereafter. Don't ever forget that. Now this question assumes that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us or establishes us in this world is exactly how we are meant to be. So first and foremost, Allah has made us human beings. That is our category of existence. Spiritually, He's made every creation inclined towards Allah's remembrance, at least in the primordial world, or in, in our ex initial existence in this world. What about as we begin to grow older? Well, as we begin to grow older, there are different biological and natural circumstances, and also social circumstances, influences that help develop us to be who we are. Rasulullah mentioned that every child is born on a natural disposition. And then the parents subsequently change that disposition, this latter part I'm summarizing, uh, to follow Christianity or to follow Judaism or to follow, to be a Magian, etc. What do we see in this particular hadith? We see that every person is born with a natural disposition and then the environment influences them. So that is true when it comes to religion, for example. Then we see that there are biological circumstances that exist. For example, a person may be born but they have uh, some type of impediment, they may have some type of retardation, they may have some type of inclination, etc. Then someone else may be born and they have a biological um, uh, component that makes them taller than others or makes them more athletically capable than others. So there are different natural and circumstantial components that help develop us to be who we are. But Allah at the very, very, very base level has made us human beings who incline towards recognizing His existence. So that's step one. Step two, for whatever reason, it could be biological um, uh, components or circumstantial components that a person begins to have attraction towards the same gender. Can we then say, well, since I have this attraction, this is what Allah always meant for me to, to feel, experience, and then subsequently enjoy in this world? The answer is no. When a person has any particular sense of attraction or enjoyment, that sense of attraction and enjoyment has to then be viewed in the lens of Islam. If it falls into the realm of being permissible, then please, by all means, within that which is permissible, enjoy yourself. If it falls into that which is considered impermissible, then it is not permissible to engage in that particular act. If a person were to say, Allah made me uh, a human being that was born in a Christian family, and being in a Christian family, I only grew up with Christian ideals and Christian values and going to the church. Even though there's Muslims around me and I was exposed to Islam, I don't have any responsibility to become Muslim. All of us would say, no, that is not true. It is still the responsibility of a person to find Islam. Just because they're born in a circumstance doesn't mean that they have to die in that circumstance. If an individual was born in a circumstance where they were in poverty, no one would say now that this is your circumstance, this is what God wanted for you. Remain in that circumstance and do not push yourself away from it through effort and through uh, acquiring skill and through proficiency, etc. We would all praise the person who was able to change the circumstance. Similarly, in this case, if someone has tendencies and attractions that are homosexual in nature, that individual has to recognize that though this may be how they feel biologically or through social circumstance, it is still necessary for that individual to know that this is not permissible in Islam. Allah is doing this as a test for you. And through this test, if successful, you will gain a great reward in the, in the hereafter and even benefit in this world. And once you attain the heights and pinnacles that are afforded to you in the hereafter, by virtue of Allah's mercy and your sacrifice, you will be grateful for being willing to abstain from that which may have brought you temporary joy, 
for that which will bring you permanent joy. So I hope this helps. Uh, I do make dua that this is easy for all of those who are struggling with this particular difficulty and any difficulty for that matter. This is your brother Saad Qadri signing off. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.